What's going on, Novi? Welcome back to Cultiverse, but this isn't going to be another episode. We are going to call this our open spoiler review. So just to explain a little bit, open spoiler just meaning there will be spoilers. If you don't want to hear them, then just tune off until you see them and then come back. But I'm sure nobody else would want to see this movie. Yeah. Madam Web. You know, we saw it yesterday, or we saw it on technically Tuesday, since I don't think this will go out today, but we saw it Tuesday, and I I have a lot of thoughts, a lot of thoughts, and a lot of questions, so let's just start off from start to finish, our issues. Um, would you like to start off? I see you have your notes. Huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll start, um, but I don't know if I'll ever stop if I start. That's fair. Okay. Uh, the first thing I have on here is the villain. Yeah, let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. I I I don't I don't even know what to say, man. <laughs> like the villain is actually the worst villain I think has ever been created ever. Yeah. There's like no there's he has no backstory at all like mm -hmm. none like he he worked with with cassie's mom yep and that's that's it there's nothing to him and constantly he says oh i can't let them kill me tear down what i what, what I, I built <laughs> we have no idea who you are right. what have you built what right. is like who are you right i the the villain is so lame like <laughs> I, I like i brought this up to my friends a few times and the villain is it, he's just ezekiel you know what i mean yeah he's, <laughs> he's just ezekiel he's just some dude like. <laughs> right <laughs> who got bit by a spider got powers and rocks. the suit is nice but he can somehow he can see the future why, why i guess that's just what the spider does that spider helps you see the future and it's why? it's really weird because <laughs> He's, and here's the thing: the concept of it, I think, would be cool if it was executed properly. He's seeing these visions. I don't of, even think so. No, hundred percent. He's seeing visions of these people trying to kill him, and he wants to kill him first before they kill him. All right, cool, nice concept. But you're not executing that well, and the movie it makes the movie bad. I think if we even knew who Ezekiel was, then I think it would make more sense that he wants to kill them. But like. It's just like he's just a guy who yeah, had a dream. He's seeing these dreams of these people killing him, so I'm going to kill you first. And and when he had the dream, he woke up and just said to this random, random lady, person. yeah, I'm going to be killed in the future. And she was just completely okay with it. Nah, she was lost. But she, no, she was about to kill him. Like she, was about to, like she was about to pull out her weapon from her purse, but then he realized. I guess. Yeah, he, he was when he started. She was when he started talking about yeah. like this the stuff for the cameras or whatever right 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 but until then she was just like she was just going along with it yeah like oh yeah you're gonna be killed yeah and it's like i don't i don't weird. understand it for the life of me i don't understand it because it's so many times in the movie they just say random things that <laughs> don't need to be said like cassie is always talking to herself yeah. all the time just for no reason and just saying terrible things like you remember when the bird flew into yeah. the window yeah and like she opened the window or whatever and she was just so like, like well things or whatever. well i guess he didn't die after all right i'm sitting here like what do you expect like you're literally opening the window for the bird and it's if you're opening the window for the bird you and it's not hitting the window how it originally died of course, it's not going to die, or at least it's not going to die that way. And she didn't have to say that. No, she didn't. The writing no, was horrible. No one talks like that. Yeah, no, no. no. It's it's really right. weird. But it's the, the villain is very lame. He's just Ezekiel. And and he was he went right for... Let's talk about how he went right for the cops and not the girls. When that's, they were standing right in I'm front saying. of him. He he literally, He went for it was so everybody bad. but the people he wanted to kill. Like when he walked into the <laughs> diner. Yes, bro. He, he punched he, that dude in like the face of the neck or something. <laughs> and you're like, dude. <laughs> it, it, and there's so, so many times. Bad. Like when they were in the car and he was like up on the building or whatever. 
he just stood there like staring at them he didn't yeah. attack them or anything <laughs> like he had so many chances to kill them right and he just didn't my whole thing is like at the start of the movie or at least in the first half you can assume he has he's using like his, his future sight like how he realized the lady had the weapon yeah. or how he's seeing these girls kill him but if you if you really think about it at like toward, on the second half so many things happened that if he used the future site, he could have avoided. And did he? He okay. So he jumped he into the ambulance. He doesn't have spider sense. No, but he has future sight. He has future sight, and he got hit by two cars. <laughs> One of and, them he jumped into, and he got he got incapacitated by some debris. Right. Yep. That he's he's supposed to have super strength. Right. And he got pinned down yep. by some debris correct and then killed by a sign yep like here's my main thing as as we explained before how are you making spider-verse movies seen as some of the one of the greatest anime animated movies of all time if not the greatest and you're making horrible movies like this i just want sony made morbius right yeah sony made morbius that has a 15 percent rotten tomato score they made Madam Web, which has a 12%. Twelve. And then they also made Let, Let There Be Carnage, which is, like, the score isn't as bad as those two, but in the movie, I don't like at all. Like, it, that's not Carnage. It's just not good. They and need to I, give up these and, movies. And that leads to the the thing about the, the birth of Peter Parker. Oh, my God. Oh at, my at, at what point... Did they just say, yeah, let's just have it in here just to have it in here? I thought I, I thought the idea. plot of the movie was to save like Peter Parker. Like when when the the film like originally was like announced or whatever, I heard that they were trying to protect like Peter Parker's mom so he could yeah. be born. Right. But then at a, it's like they just threw it in there. It didn't. It didn't even need to be in there. It didn't, and they didn't even say his name. Like they did not name drop Peter. And it's like okay, they had a little joke, like oh, you know, I'm gonna say his name, and then the balloon pops, and then oh my god, it's like okay, we know who it is. Like, right. Like just say it, bro. You when, can name drop. And when Ben didn't want to say May's name, it's like okay, oh we god. know who it is. Like. Right. Dude, like we all know who we all know who it is. We all know who it is, and they they just like didn't want to give it to us, which is so weird. Because first of all, it's no reason to worry about copyright because you own the character. That's the whole point of <laughs> all of this is that you own these characters, right? And they're like they're making these movies like Morbius and Madam Web. We obviously know who they were uh, originally, but yeah. they're not. They're like C tier characters. Yeah, they're just like they're not that well known. They're just kind of like stock kind of bad. Like you can just put them, you can throw them in the Sinister Six, and it's like cool, right? And like because nobody knows who they are, and the and they're doing these movies that like are C list characters. One of them, the like the wrestler dude, he's D list. I don't even know who that is. Though. He's no, nah, he's like F. Cause yeah, no, I know. No I don't one know knows who that, who that is. He has no relevance to anything at all. I guess he's a Spider-Man villain that nobody knew about. These are all people that you can maybe throw into like a third iteration of the Sinister Six. Right. And it's like, what are they doing? My thing is with this movie, it's just my, well, here's my biggest thing. My biggest thing is how did she get paralyzed and how was she blinded? How, what hit her in the eye that made her eyes white? What hit her in the face that gave her the markings around her eyes? I felt I'm so, so confused. bad. But when they when they were going up to the apartment, she turned around in the wheelchair. <laughs> I just how she nothing happened. That's okay, what I'm saying. She got hit in, in in the face with a firework. But that wasn't in her face. That was her shoulder. No, it, it hit it hit her in the eye. Did it? Yeah. Okay, I thought it hit her. No, I swear it hit her in the shoulder. It hit her in the shoulder because she went like this, like she like her she body like turned. covered her eyes. I don't know, bro. It's, but yeah. how are you paralyzed? She got hit in the eyes with a with a firework, but now she's in she's in a wheelchair, right? And she had to be revived. 
and that that brings me to the CPR thing. They just they threw that in there to like come back later in the end, but that's not yeah. how you do foreshadowing at all. at all. You don't just throw something in there <laughs> and then like the characters wouldn't even normally go along with it. All of a sudden mm-hmm. she's like, "Yeah, I'm going to teach you CPR." And they're just like, "Oh, okay." Right. We'll we'll just learn CPR. Yeah, and that that actually kind of brings me to another point is the three main characters. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even remember their name. Was not one of them Nelly? Is that N- no, Nelly? No, I don't think so. Oh well, that's what I mean. <laughs> so listen, my thing about the three characters is that they are not interesting enough within themselves to for because it's always important to at least have one character that someone can cling on to and have that attachment yeah. to. You don't get that with these characters because they're all the same in the sense of like, why are they here? Like their parents are either dead away, don't want to come back, whatever, whatever. Oh, that's literally how it is for all of them. I, I literally would have been satisfied if one of them was like, oh, my parents are here. I just don't want to go home. You know what I mean? I'm just realizing it kind of now. But the 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 worst part about the movie is that like none of the characters have backstory no like meaningful interesting backstory that's what i mean and it's all the same like what their backstory quote unquote is like it's the same that's not even really backstory it's like it's plot. The, the girls just come out of nowhere <laughs> right and then they complain the whole movie they're they're just they're whining the whole movie and like attacking each other for no reason and then doing making the most stupid decisions that's just like you you watch the movie and you just get frustrated about how just bad it is yeah how it just doesn't make any sense yeah like and don't like the writing was for those characters for everybody but like those characters were just not good and this is the first time i've ever said this about a movie and th- like literally the first time and that's how you know it's crazy this uh, there was literally only one thing that I liked about that movie, and that was Ben Parker. I mean, he was he was cool in the five minutes he was in the movie. Exactly, he was the best part about that movie, and he had the least screen time. No, the suits had the least screen no. time. Yeah, no, yeah, no facts. The suits had the least screen time. I'm so confused. Like you're showing these visions of them having powers and them doing this. I was good. I was expecting they would get their powers in the movie, but they don't get yeah. their powers in the movie. They're showing these visions of them doing these things, but they don't have their powers at all other than the visions. Like not even at the end, they don't even tease how they get their powers. They just have powers in the visions. That is so that is like the sloppiest writing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it's, I don't know, man. What's your next right. note? I, uh, we kind of skipped through, like, a few of them. Okay. Uh, the complete personality change of Cassie at the end. Yeah. After she I goes was thinking blind, that. she's just, she's she's just, just chill. a completely different person. I, I, bro, I'm so glad you said that, because, listen, that oh my god i'm so glad you said that as i'm watching the movie and i get and we get to that end point i noticed that she's just like this chill like like she's oh just yeah like this wise like right she's like oh i know it's gonna i knew it was gonna happen bless you whatever her name was <laughs> like like what what and, are you doing and when the, like they were in the hospital or whatever she was like yeah they're mine they're mine like your parents are still alive, bro. Like these these people's parents are still alive. They're not yours. And nothing happened in between the time of her saying she literally like did not want anything to do with them to the point where she's literally claiming them as her children. <laughs> oh my god. This movie's so bad. I don't know I'm about to start tearing up again. I'm telling you. Like let's I, I really do want to reel it back to that care that change. Because what happened that made you just this wise, laid back, chill, like, 
I wonder if that was going to happen. I can tell y'all going to be great hit people someday. Like, like, what are you doing? I, I what are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't understand. Because, oh my God. Anyways, it's, here's, it's, it's just absurd to me. Because it, it makes zero, zero sense. There are, are so many plot holes in this movie. It's, it's, it's insane. full of plot holes. The whole thing is just plot holes. Yes. It's 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 insane. To me. It's Whoa. terrible writing, horrible writing, plot holes, a ton, and the the i the movie should have never existed in the first place. No, it should have existed. It just you need to get better writers. Like if you need to hire someone with, with this concept, they should have stuck with the original, bro. I don't know what they're doing. I I really don't know what they're doing. What's the next note? What we got? All right. Um. So, astral projection. Yes. At the end, they just threw it in that she can just make a multiple of herself. Can she do that in the comics? Yeah, I mean, she can. Like, she has astral projection kind of, right? Or no, she talks to them through, like, their head. That's how she communicates with them. I... How how do you just know how to do that? And the line, oh my gosh, the line. Which one? The line... The narrator, random narrator comes in. <laughs> the line that he says when she does it is when you accept responsibility, oh my gosh, great power will come, bro. That, what does oh that my even God. mean? I was so mad when that was said. That means nothing. When you <laughs> accept responsibility, great power will come. What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know. So so she accepted the responsibility of like protecting these kids and then she just she got power and knows how to astral project. That's not how anything works. How did she world. know how to do that? Like cuz she was doing it like with zero issues. And and she didn't even do it. She just went to each character and was like, "You're gonna be okay." And like, and was then trying she got to help punched her. out of it. Right. Like, and 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 my like at the end of the movie when it shows in the vision the three girls standing and her behind them, like in her like little field. What is that gonna do against actual bad guys? You cannot hit them in astral projection. I don't think you can. No. You can't. Like, I, I'm i so confused. I'm so confused. It's just like, I, I don't understand. It's it's weird. It's weird. I, this movie was was a lot worse than I thought it would yeah. be. Because I knew it was going to be bad. I knew it was a train wreck. But I, I like seeing bad movies sometimes. Yeah. But this one Maybe, was like yeah. not even entertaining bad it was it was, it was actually boring yeah I, yeah it was boring the plot was very boring i wasn't interested at all i i i just didn't care about anything that was going on yeah, that at all mm-hmm. and, and that is and absurd what category is this movie it's not an action movie it sure isn't because they did not throw a punch at all to save their life well they couldn't they didn't have powers I guess that's I guess you need powers to punch. Like listen, it's, listen. It's my here's the thing. Like Lewis said, her superpower is literally just waiting for something bad to happen to, to Ezekiel. Because they did not throw a punch. They didn't even try to defend themselves. They just ran. Oh my god. And I heard that and I was like, nah, surely not. Right. Like surely like like they do something. No. No. He gets hit with a car and then they light some fireworks yep. and then like he gets like taken out by a firework and like the first couple of seconds he walks through the door. Yep. Yeah. And one, two things I want to bring up. One of them being when Ezekiel was dreaming about the three girls killing them, that choreography was was not it. It was kind of bad. It, we couldn't even, we could barely even see anything. Yeah. Because all the action that was in the movie was just cut, <laughs> like cut after cut and just Yeah, and, and it was like together. panning like all the whole way. I was like, come on, man. Like you can't even see 
anything actually happening. Mm -hmm. Like people are just flying around right. and getting hit. Like I don't remember seeing a punch. Yeah. Like someone getting punched or anything. The another thing I wanted to bring is like it's very nitpicky, but like I it's obviously noticeable. So you see them put the flares in the bot in or under the boxes and the fireworks don't blow up, right? Yeah. Until like he shows up. But then as he's chasing Madam Web, she throws one in the box instantaneous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting here like I'm sitting here like, so the other one's gonna didn't do that? Is that what like like that scene was horrible just straight up. Cause yeah. after after that, or before that, when so you know how like she was explaining she was like pressing them about how impulsive they were in the diner or whatever whatever yeah. which that was fine um that was fine it, i don't think w when they got in the car cassie was like yeah you guys don't think about anything but yourselves yeah what and but that part was kind of weird but when she said they were impulsive okay that's fair i could kind of see that but so I had no issues with that. But in the scene in the warehouse, when they were like, we'll listen to you this time. And then whoever, the Isabella girl, whatever her character's name was, was like, if we won't be impulsive, I got, I cringed. I literally, like, internal cringe. I I didn't know what to do with that. I looked at Lewis and I, I couldn't help but laugh. And I said, they need to get, they need to get these writers out of the seat because they, they should have been fired a long time ago. And I, I don't know, it, it's bad. All right. We'll get a few more notes and then we'll wrap it up. I've got uh, them leaving safety multiple times. So, like, yep. they left the woods yep. and they left Ben's house mm -hmm. when they didn't have to do that. At all. Okay, I get they didn't trust her, so they, like, went to the diner or whatever. But it's like, why, why, would, you, why would you go to the diner if you if don't? You know, if you know someone's going to try to kill you. That's my thing. And then the guy had the newspaper mm -hmm. about, like, everyone's talking about the newspaper yep. that the guy had, like, an hour or so after <laughs> the event had just happened. Right. And then when they left Ben's house, they left because um, Peter Parker's mom was, you know, her water gonna broke. have him yeah. or whatever. They didn't have to leave. No, they didn't. Because they, they should have just stayed in the house. They should have stayed in the house, but they left. Because Ezekiel couldn't even find them. Exactly. So they, they should have just stayed in the house and be like, y'all got to go because, or y'all just go because we're literally being hunted. And not once did they think about that. Yeah. Ever. And can we talk about Ezekiel leaping? Like, he, he, he was leaping. Very often. <laughs> very, very often. He jumped so high. Like, it it was absurd. And it was does absurd. nothing. At all. This is, okay. Spider-Man is held back by his good morals, right? Yes. This Spider-Man has no morals. Right. He should have been crazy. And he can't kill four people, and only one of them has powers, and that power is to see the future. Yeah. Yeah. That's Ezekiel for you. He, he, he can't kill them. He can't kill them. That's Ezekiel. What else you got? All right. Uh, I I got I got some of the the pointless dialogue. Mm, we got um, covered that. I'm I'm not sure if this is this is word for word. Okay. But what I heard was when uh, when Cassie was leaving to to leave the three girls in the mm -hmm. woods, mm -hmm. she said, "Don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid." Oh, don't do don't. stupid things. Yes, yes, that is that is what she said. Oh my gosh, no one speaks like that. I I cringed internally, and it was it was so bad. It was oh Jesus. And here's my here's my issue. Um, with what some people are saying about the movie is that they're blaming it on the on the cat on the main cast. No, they are victims. Yeah. Because the it's just the writing. It's not the cast. These actresses that they're bringing in are pretty like known actresses. Dakota yeah. Johnson, especially Dakota Johnson, Sydney Sweeney's on the up and coming. Isabella Sarah? Merced. Merced. She's up. She's 
like kind of in the up and coming, not as much as Sydney Sweeney, but I she's mean, also in the up and coming. She she's been in stuff like a while ago. Like yeah. she was in Transformers. I was just about to say she was in Transformers, and she's she's because of that she's also a uh, pretty well known. I don't know who the who the other one is. But but still, like these are actresses that we know can do good in their roles. Yeah. So it's not them, and I feel like that's just completely unfair. Um, and another thing I also want to bring up that was said is uh, Isabella Marced said that the reason Madam Web failed was because of toxic male audience. Now, oh, no. I have a few things to say about that because what I can say is that does appear in in certain in certain situations for movies, whether yeah. it's it's female led or female directed, that does occur. But I think that's like a common thing that that a lot of movies are using, like Birds of Prey. Yeah, no, that movie was just bad. The, the director of Birds of Prey was like, "Yeah, you guys just don't like seeing like women led movies or whatever." Yeah, and that's just not the case. Birds of Prey was just boring. That's I was bored in that movie, and and I didn't want to be bored because Obi Wan was in that movie. Like it's it's crazy to me. So I feel like that's unfair to say because yeah, to put it simply, that movie was just bad. And like I said, that does toxic male audiences can appear in a lot of situations for female led or female directed movies. Yeah, for but sure. this is just not one of those movies to put it to put it like to be blunt like it's just not one of those movies in that like one of those cases for this movie the movie was just bad it was horribly written the characters were bland there was nothing interesting at all about the movie that really roped me you or anyone else in to think okay this movie could actually be like solid but it's not i'd i'd really have to talk to a person who genuinely enjoys this movie yeah same because there is nothing redeemable about it mm -mm. from start to finish. Yeah. I was in I was an hour in and I was just like on my phone like when is this gonna end? Yeah. I looked up how long the movie was because hour forty. I couldn't wait for it to be over. Yeah. Um yeah, it's it's crazy to me. And you know, it's there's a lot that I think they all need to just have a sit down and talk about bro, just, what's going on. Bro, just burn up the facility at this point. At like, this point. No talking about anything. Just lock it up. Hit the self-destruct button. Yep. It, it's it's done, bro. Yeah, because think of it like this. It, you, have, you have a few options here. Sony has a few options here. Option one, you scrap making com comic book movies straight up. Unless it's Amazing Spider-Man because everybody wants that. Two, you find better directors. Or three, yeah. not cling on to the hope that bringing in A or B listers will make the movie better. Because some people see movies specifically for other people, right? Yeah. But me, you, and a lot of other people don't care who if don't care who specifically is in the movie. We just want to see good writing, good CGI, good fight scenes, good choreography. All of these things, and we're just not getting that. We have not been getting that for these past few years, and they really need to think about whether they should keep doing this or not. And I think if they do not get it together, they need to stop with comic book movies, and they need to give Spider-Man back to MC, to, uh, back to Feige. I, I think they have had too many chances already. Yes, they have, and they've been ruining it. There's no way Craven is going to be good. Craven's going to be really bad. Whenever that even comes out, because I don't know. I don't know. And uh, who? Uh, Aaron Taylor, right? Aaron Taylor Johnson. He's going to be in it, clinging on to a A lister, hoping it's going to be good. But it's I, not. I just don't think it'll be good. And and Bad Bunny as the, the as the wrestler guy. Wrestler guy. That's going to be a train wreck. That is that I feel like that will probably end up being the worst comic book movie of all time. See, this is what I, I don't, mean. Could anything beat Madam Web? Like, yes. could anything possibly beat Madam Web? Yes, because like it a is wrestling. a person we no one knows. No one. Knows. A wrestling movie though, at least has action. The thing about this movie, like superhero movies, can be bad, mm -hmm. but at least most of the time they have some action. Yeah, like Thor. Absolutely, you know this about me. I absolutely yeah. hate that movie. You don't like Love and Thunder. I hate 
Love and Thunder. But the fights but were not they, bad. If they, you know, they were they were fighting. They were fighting. at least, and they had some some nice colors to look at. Yeah, and it's just like yeah, I don't know. You you have any final thoughts about Madam Web? I think that as soon as the man came in to pitch it, they they should have fired him. Yeah. No, they should have told him to get out. They should have kicked him out. Yeah. yeah. My final thoughts about this movie is just that this movie was a train wreck. As I said before, they really do need to think about if they should keep doing this because they're not making money. They're not making money. They, they made were, money on, on Venom too. They made but they, they didn't make million yep, dollars. They made six million. Six million that dollars. That should be a reality check. Because if it's, if that's not, I, I don't know what is. And it, I always see these things as a waste of a movie. We could have had another movie. And then we're, now we're going to have to wait another few years to get like a movie we all really want. When you could have been pitching it for this. And it could have came out this year. It should have came out when Madam Web came out. Like, it, Tasm 3. Tasm 3. You know what I mean, though? Like a waste of a movie. You, but do you like understand what I'm saying? Yeah. For that, so it's it's this movie's bad. If you let's let's you know what on a let's do a three count, and we're gonna do a rating out of ten. We'll do it together. All right. Get so get your number. Get your number in okay. your head. You ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Point three. five. God. Oh my God. Point. That's five. valid. What do you, what do you think got it to a three? Ben Parker. You think he makes up three points? Yes. Because he was fun. I loved seeing him on screen. And he was the only thing I could cling on that made me like this movie. So I will give it a three I, because I, of Ben Parker. I gave it a point five because of Ben and the fact that the CGI wasn't horrible. The CGI was very spotty in a lot of situations. It wasn't good, but it wasn't hor- I've seen worse. I mean, if you're CGI from MCU. A, if you're doing CGI on a Pepsi can. That says a lot. Maybe I got to lower it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, man. No, this movie's really bad. And I'm going to do like a little mini review for a cat's eye review and I'll be I'm going to post a clip on here. Just us bashing the movie. But I mean, like, and it's not, I don't even say it's just us bashing the movie just because the movie's just bad. But yeah, that's kind of our final thoughts. This is our open, our first open spoiler review for a movie, and that would be Madam Web. Start off with a banger, I guess you say. Yeah. Uh, and we'll probably do more open spoilers. And shoot, man. Well, we don't recommend seeing this, by the way. We don't yeah. recommend seeing this. Like, I saw people say before that it's just really not worth it. And I was like, no, I want to at least see it to, like, see how bad it could be. Just just don't. Yeah, no, just don't. Trust me, just don't. Yeah, so, you know, that's our episode. That, that's that's just our open spoiler review. We hope to catch you later, Novi. Our day has been ruined, and we hope yours has not. We'll catch you later. Bye.